Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Raid Fun, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. So, in the last episode, we got here to the Distortion World after Cyrus attempted to basically destroy the world to create a new one in his own image, thus causing Garatina, the Pokemon behind this whole world, to come out of his shadows and stop him and drag us all here. So, in this episode, after we wandered around a little bit, uh, last episode, I finally figured out what to do. I kind of stopped because I really didn't have an idea what I was doing. But of course, I should have practiced this, and guess what? I did. We're supposed to go this way here. A lot of people are probably screaming at me like, No, you're going the wrong way. Don't go there. But it's really relatively easy. So, you just want to go over here and press this switch here because this will cause us to go down. So, progress! Hooray! Now, um... I kind of say this like every other few episodes, like maybe every dozen, but I hopefully, I'm hopeful that this is actually going to be a little bit better recording because I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've actually switched my uh, Desmume styles because I'm actually really surprised that one of my uh, subscribers actually pointed out, oh, you're using like Desmume 9.8, aren't you? And I'm like, yes, I am. And he told me to get 9.9, .9, and I did, and it's a little bit better. Uh, so hopefully you guys can be able to have a little bit of a more clear video. If not, well then, I'm sorry, but other than that... The shadowy Pokemon is here. It abandoned me here, and then disappeared somewhere farther down. Was it content merely to interfere with my plan? Incidentally, do you understand the concept of genes? Yes, I do. If it's true, you've impressed me. Genes can be considered the blueprints of all life forms. That includes humans and Pokemon alike. Genes are contained in a DNA strand. A DNA strand consists of two chains of opposing characteristics in a spiral. If one of the chains would be broken, the other could replicate it. Which is basically saying right here, he's probably going to say this in a minute, so repetition for me, hooray! But he's just basically saying that without this world, the real world, world, sorry, real world, uh, that the real world cannot survive without this one. So, really, really cool how they did that, and it really does make a lot of sense when you get into it. One or the other, one or the other cannot exist without its opposite. Basically what I just said right there, repetition! Do you understand where I'm going with this? This is a bizarre world. Time doesn't flow, space isn't stable. Only that shadowy Pokemon lives here. This world is the opposite of our world. Our world, I wish to change. It is like the two chains composing a strand of DNA. The two worlds must be balancing each other in order to remain in existence. Without the one, the other cannot exist. The shadowy Pokemon must play a role in keeping the world in balance. That is why it must have interfered and brought me here. The shadowy Pokemon must have made this bizarre world. That's why trying to change our world disturbed it and made it reveal itself. But that is all irrelevant. What matters is defeating that Pokemon and making this world disappear. I won't allow it to interfere with me again. With it gone, neither world would be able to revert to its original state. So, back when I was rambling about just stuff involving new recording software, you may you might have noticed when we got down there, you, you were like, oh no, we can't go there dead end. Well, obviously, as you just saw, this place appears, it's like a mirage at first, when you get next to it, it'll appear. So, it's really cool how they did that. So, there are a lot of misleading paths. And the way that this is set up that is, if there's literally nothing here, like, as you can see, there's literally nothing, right? Wrong. We have a whole path to go here, which confuses me because I do not know the right controls for this place, but... Eh, that'll change in a minute. So then here's the other misleading spot, which I want to show off. Because you may think, oh, hey, look, we can simply go there. Ready? Three, two, one, cowabunga! Aww. So that's obviously a trap. Which will basically just let you, is basically saying, nope, you cannot go here. So that's pretty much it for this area. So, if obviously we can't go there either. So where you really want to go is you want to go, not up here, I not over there, but up here. Because these appear right here, and I'm saying appear in here a lot, which is kind of weird. So let's keep going this way, so then these can appear here. And I, oh my god, I gotta stop saying that. But this is the area where you want to go, because here is another elevator that allows to go even further down. Because that shabby Pokemon is supposed to be at the bottom, as is all places. 
as what we can infer at first, and because it's a new location, as you just saw in that one few, or those few frames, there's water here. So expect some crazy water mechanics in this place. So hopscotch, hopscotch, you know, it has nothing to do with hopscotch. And this is pretty much the center of all the puzzles, which confused me like crazy when I was a kid, and a lot of my friends too. So what Uxie is trying to tell us right there is that what we want to do is with sur with uh, well, sir, strength, we basically want to push that boulder down there so then we can push it down there we can go because let me see how I can... Yeah, right there. You can barely see Uxie, but uh, Uxie's right there in the bottom right. You, I don't know. You can barely see it, but it's, it's there. And that's where you want to put the boulder in. So let's go ahead and activate strength so that we can push it inside and we can hopefully uh, fulfill Uxie's wishes of having boulders thrown from one floor to the next. Hooray! And now what you want to do next is you may be thinking, well, what about these two spots here? There's water. There must be some items here, right? Well, before... Sorry to break your spirit, but there's no items that can be obtained yet here. There's one single item that can be obtained. Actually, no, what am I saying? Not even. You cannot find any items here, period. This place is only consisting of this rock and this one Pokemon. So that's pretty much it. Obviously, that was the case until, well, we came along. So, what you want to do in this puzzle, is it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uxie is right next to one of these chutes, and what you basically want to do is you want to activate strength yet again, because obviously going down elevators completely ruins your ability to use strength. So, now we can basically just push this over here, and real quick before you guys think, well maybe we can push it this way, I mean if we go this way, there's just another spot here, we can throw it down there, right? Well, no, because you don't have, because the boulder was originally here, and there's no way you can literally levitate up the chute to push it. So let's just push it inside of here, and... That solves the first part of the puzzle. Yes, there's more. Shocking. Shocking, isn't it? Okay, that was a stupid joke. So, let's do a little bit of foreshadowing. We can already see a couple more areas from here, and there's a Cynthia. A Cynthia, wow. Apparently she's not a person anymore, just one of many. Well, that could be true, but eh, then again, this is a video game, and I'm pretty sure there aren't any of the people named Cynthia here. So let's go ahead and talk to her and see what she wants. Or, what she's doing. This place. It seems to be a giant puzzle. Maybe Giratina just wants to test those that visit here? It appears as if we can't go on unless we solve the puzzle. There are some boulders that could be removed. And there are several odd pits on the floor. The Pokemon of the Lake seem eager to show us something. Indeed they do, so hold on, let me go over here real quick, just let me see something. Okay, never mind. I thought I thought I saw something down there, and I thought it was like something really weird. Uh never mind about that. So for this next part, you may be thinking, well, where do we go next? There's nothing else for us to do here. But we can't go back up because that's not true, right? Well that's where you're wrong. We are supposed to go back up because now we can go on these areas because if we go over here, not only is there another boulder, but halfway here. Mesprit appears! A wild Mesprit appeared. So, Mesprit's gonna be strolling around us and looking to Boulder, and basically, if we didn't have enough common sense, she's basically saying us, saying to us in a weird way that we need to push this Boulder back down here. So for the third time in this one episode, Manny, show your face with cool background things going completely to the right. Or left, or whatever. Let's just push it down, and before we go down, you may be thinking, well, we can we can just go ahead and push it down, right? Yeah, let, let's just go this way, right? But then again, look, that's where you're wrong, because we cannot go this way since there are little, little tiny ledges that apparently we cannot go over, because that's the standard rule for 10-year-old boys. So we cannot do anything with that yet. So we're going to have to leave that boulder there as it is, and just take this elevator a uh, little bit further down, or not further down, but up. Because for this next part of the puzzle, yes, I know, there's so many parts. You are actually supposed to backtrack all the way back because, well, you kind of need to since on the way back, there's actually someone else, which obviously, if there wasn't, if it wasn't obvious enough, we need Azel too. So for this next part, this part is really cool. Uh, yeah, this one. As you can see, as we go for further, the rocks seem to appear and disappear as we go. Same with the plants. 
And the, the plant's animation for, like, disappearing is really cool. Let me show you. Mm. Looks like Garatina's tr still trying to find out why we're here. So let's go ahead and go this way. And as you can see, the plants just completely disappear and reappear. So you, basically, you want to go, like, dead on into plants. You try to go back. Nope, that will not work. So you just want to rush in here so then you can get rid of all this and then go around and then you're back here to this one spot which we kind of have not been before ah but if you see right there we can see Cyrus just pondering about thinking about the situation and a little, something a little bit funny comes up actually in around a minute or two uh, when we actually get to that spot because we are going to be going to that spot and I do think it's actually kind of funny when we get there so let's just hop on this and nothing here. Oh, let's just go this way. No, we're actually going to go this way. Because look at that. Reappearing platforms. Hooray. And go here. And we should be good to go. Because there's yet another elevator here for us to take. Or platform that can go down. Anyways, as soon as we go down to Cyrus' level, we may be thinking. Oh, now it's the time we can capture him. Nope. He just walks away because he realizes we're here. And he's like, disgusting. And just walks away because can't. Okay, so for this part, we're going to have to use Surf uh, a little bit here. Not a whole lot of Surfing here, but there is a bit. So, guarantee that appears again, and ooh. Now right here, this looks really awkward. This looks like, th now right here from this distance, you may be thinking, Oh, wow, well, your emulator sucks, you're missing textures, what a loser. Well, you, that's where you're wrong, because that's clearly just the bottom of this whole stat of this whole platform, because... You thought just going into one area was enough going on the sides? No, we're going to go completely backwards with a waterfall. And waterfalls, ooh, that's going to be interesting. So, you may be thinking, well, how does this make any sense? It's a waterfall here. It, it's supposed to go down. Well, this is a distortion world. not supposed to make sense. Speaking of not making sense, we are climbing up a waterfall. If that isn't cool enough, in fact, this, is this shot right here, if I mistake me, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe when this game was first announced, like on like TVs for the trailer, I actually do think that this was one of the many, not screenshots, but little tiny clips of the game that were that was shown off to catch like the Pokemon's Pokemon fans' attention, just to show that there is more than one mechanic than simply walking around in just an overworld view. So go this way. Guess what? More boulders. And, yep, I knew we'd be seeing Ad as Elf here sometime soon. I almost bit my tongue right there. Yeah. Okay. So, let's just wait for him to go down. And, I don't understand, like, really, it's just a habit of mine. It's probably a habit of many. But whenever I see Pokemon, like, maybe Mesprit, it's Mesprit, Uxie, and Azelf are generally it. Like, they don't have a gender, yet I call them her, he, it, doesn't really matter. So, kind of weird how I do that, but it's something you get used to after a while. So now that we've gone full circle around here, we can finally go down. Let's go ahead and go down, and we should be ready to complete the next two puzzles of this place. So let's go to the left and put this boulder over... No, not in there. Good thing you didn't have strength on. That would make me reset the puzzle, which is not good. Not good at all. So we want to push it over here because Mesprit is secretly telling us that we need to put it there because obviously, as it wasn't obvious enough that Mesprit would be in that one location instead of any other, she would be in that spot. And then the same thing with Azelf, except, well, Azelf's in a different location rather than just an exact same spot. A little bit different, and do we have to reuse strength? No, we can't. Alright, good. So we can just simply push it in, and there we go. Puzzle solved! Hooray! This isn't as horrible as the Zelda dungeon. Especially like a Water Temple or something, which is something I have never been in my life. Anyways, I guess the Pokemon at the lakes must have gone home. I understand they can keep balance against either Dialga or Palkia. Does this mean they can't do that with Giratina? Oops, this is no time for idle chit chat. And magically, another platform appears. You know what? Cynthia, thank you for allowing me to use my common sense instead of saying, Oh, a platform, we should go on it! Thank you for letting me understand I can finally do what I can on my own. There's going down here. Look who it is. 
This is it. Guaranteeing herself a hit. As much as I would love to continue on, I'm going to have to end this episode off here. Because, you know what? I was kind of generous with the whole s scenarios with, the, with like the gym of Snowpoint. I'm going to be an even bigger dick here. I am going to go ahead and not fight Cyrus in this episode. So, because, oh my god, we are going to fight Cyrus. And, wow, I did not mean to trigger that dialogue. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, we're going to be taking on Cyrus for the final time. As well as hopefully meeting Garatina up close and in person. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.